Today I'm going to show you guys how I turn this into this. Alright guys, so this journey starts off inside my computer. So uh, first things first, we gotta find a part we wanna draw. So this right here is a is a weed eater head, weed eater head for my dad's weed eater. Not exactly sure what it does, but we're gonna make one. So if I come over to Autodesk Fusion 360, if you guys never heard of Fusion 360, it's awesome. CAD software does CAD and CAM. I haven't figured out how to do the CAM part of it yet, but someday we'll get there. But it's great software. I don't know a lot about Fusion 360 and the proper ways to draw, to draw things, but I'm learning. I'm more of a SolidWorks guy. So this is basically the screen we start from. And we'll right click and hit new component. We're gonna call this uh, blade. Cool. And we'll hit insert. We're gonna pick between this red and green plane here. And then uh, select this icon. And pull up our blade picture. There you go, you can see it. And hit OK. Come up here at the top, and it'll bring us normal to our drawing. Flip it around here so it's the right way. Cool. So, see, it's how this part is uh, rotating. I don't want to just, you know click a whole bunch of circles and just like make make a circle for this and you know make a circle for this and you know we do an arc you know I pick these two points you know these what you don't see here is a perspective kind of error so, you know, when I took this picture, I wasn't directly over the center of it. So what I'm going to actually do, instead of actually just drawing around this edge, I'm going to use these functions to kind of measure what all these features should be. So I'm going to get rid of all this. But first off, we need to calibrate this canvas. If I go right click on our image hit calibrate go into the circle and measure that's going to be nine, oh, 0.928 I actually resized it so whatever I draw is what the actual size is and then I'll just start drawing this out, kind of using it to measure, and then on my sticky notes over here, I'll just uh, write down what I come up with. So this should be all I need to draw this thing. So if I... A new sketch. We'll hide this dude. Put on the sketches. We'll just get rid of this. And then we just start from scratch. Cool. Now this looks like a lot, but if you hit the T for trim, get rid of all this garbage. And we'll end up with our blade. There it is. Bam. And file, save, blade. And then we're going to export 
is a DXF to my desktop. That's pretty much it. This is going to take a couple minutes for some reason. That takes forever to export as a DXF. But we'll use this DXF file inside Sheet Cam to create our G code. All right. Got our DXF file extracted to the desktop. Now we're going to open up Sheet Cam. Sheet Cam is the software I use to create um, G code from a DXF file. Uh, it came with my CNC and C uh, software package. But basically, it's pretty much set up already. Um, you just kind of define your your post processor. This is unique to your machine. I'm using this uh, MP1000 THC Scriber. It's edited because I added a switch offset for my Z axis. But that's pretty much it. You pretty much just define how big your machine cuts, how big your material is, and you import a drawing or a new part. So we'll click on our blade. I drew that in inches inside Fusion, but for some reason when I import it into Sheet Cam, it's a 10 to 1 compression. So we'll just pick 10 to 1. And this lower left hand corner is the origin where we want to start our G code. There you go. Red uh, lines indicate an outside cut, yellow lines indicate an inside cut. Basically, you come down here to operations, click new water jet, pick your layer, which is your drawing, pick your tool which I actually have already set up all of these. We'll do 14 gauge. Gives us our feed rates and everything. If I had any rules for this machine, I would put that here. Got our lead in. I always like to do an arc of 0.15 inches. No lead out. And this all looks good, so we hit OK. The green line is our actual tool, tool path. So you can see it's cutting the inside first. Here's our first start point. It'll we'll cut the inside, then come over here and cut the outside. Pretty simple. Hit this P up here to post process it. It's going to ask me where I want to put it. We'll just put it on a desktop for now. That's pretty much it. We got. Should give us a should give us a tap file with a bunch of X, Y, and Z movements and a bunch of numbers. Perfect. I know I kind of breezed over this stuff, but if you want to kind of an in depth of how I actually do each one of these processes, just let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, we will take this to the machine and cut it out. All right, then we just take that tap file out to the CNC machine and turn it into a part. So he loves car rides. All right, first things first, we gotta open our Mach 3 software. I've already got I've already got the motors on, the control box on, everything is hooked up. Got our ground on already. So, very first thing in here, load G code. Got our blade G code. There we go. Got everything zeroed. We are out of reset. Um, we're not going to cut this on. We're not going to cut this on digital height control. It's, uh, it's a small enough part, and we don't really have to worry about Z height changes. Got our torch zeroed on the corner. 
Air compressors filled, torches right. Let's hit run. See what happens. Look at that, cool. Not too bad, I think it'll do. Holes round, seems to be in the center. I take that as a win, perfect. So I hope this video kind of gives you an idea of what it takes to actually, actually cut parts on this machine. You know, I've got two computers uh, you got to have steel and this machine and everything. You know, there's, there's a lot of things that I had to figure out first before I could actually turn out parts like this. But it's working. I'm uh, pretty happy with it. <laughs> and I hope this little blade works for my dad. So I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.